My daughter Kuri has DLPLA, a disease that causes atrophy of the brain. It is hereditary and progressive. There is no cure. Kuri is bedridden. My husband Chiaki passed away six years ago from this disease. I wrote Ohana family in hopes of finding a cure. I pray that I can save my daughter. Chapter 4 Progress Chiaki suddenly started throwing away his shirt. He said, If I become bedridden, I won't be able to keep the shirt. Sometimes he said things like, I'm going to die anyway. I don't like it very much. But I think Chiak is conflicted about it. I too am up and down every day. The reason he says that is because someone goes through various stages of face their illness and moving forward and he is in the midst of that struggle. Kuri also had a moment of panic at one point, saying, I am not stupid. It's hard to think that's gone now though. Today, Chiak said, I'm going to die. And I said, I'm convinced that living in Hawaii with its easy living climate and gentle people has slowed down the progression of your illnesses. But I think it also has something to do with what you both have. DRPLA progresses faster the further back the generations go. But you are still able to walk really. Even Kuri has had the disease since she was a little girl. And even though we thought she might not be able to walk, she still would be walking, even if only a little bit. If it were true, I think both of you would have progressed further. I'm sure you both have something strong in you, I said, because I really believe that. Jack said something like, huh, and went to mess with Kuri. That's how our family has to go on as a family. Tomorrow will be another good day, right? They love you, don't they? Today was another day with many sad and happy things. I am amazed at how so many ups and downs happen every day. But today, I'm going to write about something that made me happy. I talked many times with Dr. S. Nurse whom Chris usually sees about her trip to Texas. This person, Miss R, is the one who is doing various procedures for us. I really appreciate the fact that many people are cooperating with us without our knowledge. Then, Miss R told me this story. My son used to go to the YMCA with Kuri, she said. So, I have been watching Kuri very closely. Kuri was loved by everyone at the YMCA, from the staff, from the children. She always had someone around her, and I never saw her alone. Even in Hawaii, it's not always the case that handicapped children can get along with everyone. But Kuri was loved by everyone and seems to be having fun. 
so I thought she was lucky to have such wonderful people. I was happy to hear that. Kuri is a lucky girl. And when I went to pick her up at the YMCA in the evening, she was surrounded by so many people and laughing. She is sleeping next to me now. And she is so cute. Kuri, I hope you will continue to receive lots of love from many people and be happy.